So if you want to become a professional Fortnite player at some point, guys, you got to start focusing on correcting your mistakes more than anything. What's going on, Punch of Crunch Army? I'm back. Tell me what your mistakes, you know, you're making the most this season. I would love to hear. So with that being said, okay, here are five mistakes that you got to stop making in Chapter 2, Season 5. I'm so pumped up. Let's get this started. Here we go. For most competitive Fortnite players, it's common knowledge, man, that you want to rotate as early as possible for almost every zone. This is something, Bunch of Crunch Army, that is going to be even more important in Chapter 2, Season 5, due to the pure layout of the map. Like, when we take a step back and we look at past seasons, it's clear that the POIs are generally fairly spread out, and there are just very few POIs towards the center of the map. This made it pretty easy, right? Like really just to like rotate to the first and second zone if you needed to travel through the center of the map. This is just simply not the case in chapter two, season five with no POIs being located outside of the mainland. Let me ask you this, how do you feel about that? Let me know in the comments down below. So the overall map is just a lot more bunched up. This map adjustment is just gonna hurt players who choose to rotate late because they're gonna be constantly rotating into very congested territory, regardless of where they have to rotate and, and will in turn get significantly worse spots to base up. And this is not only a common mistake that needs to be fixed in chapter two, season five, in my opinion, but it's very essential to the success of any player looking to place well in tournaments this season. Another important aspect of rotations in chapter two, guys, is the addition of the desert in the center of the map. Since this area is no longer occupied by water, there's going to be a lot more players rotating through this area, using the sand to rotate as well as the teleportation crystals. This means that the center of the map is going to be significantly more congested than it usually is, and this is going to be a very common mistake this season due to a lot of players in the past, you know, relying on rotating to the center of the map to get the shortest rotations possible. And this simply reinforces the fact that you can't wait to rotate in this season. Like you have to rotate early and be very cautious of your surroundings while you're doing so. But before we get into, you know, covering these important mistakes that you need to stop making, if you're looking for even more of the most helpful and really up-to-date content to improve at Fortnite, look no further than ProGuys.com. I mean, you can find a ton of amazing guys and courses 24-7, on-demand coaching from pros, and our brand new course with our main man, Pro Player Clicks. And I just want to say this, man, I really believe in you guys. And so a lot of times we're so frustrated when we're not seeing the improvement, the hard work paying off. But man, every great thing takes time. And I want you to remember that. Like if you're looking to be great, not only in this game, but also in life, just remember, guys, like it takes time. You know, you're a part of the Bunch of Crunch Army, man. Just know, man, we are fighters. We never give up. We never surrender. Man, we stay motivated. We stay encouraged. We stay positive. When we fall down, we get back up. So I want you to get back up. All right. All right, let's get back to this video. Here we go. Ever since they changed the overall ammo mechanic in Chapter 1, it's really been more and more challenging for players to have ammo throughout the entire game. Like, having enough ammo in Chapter 2, Season 5, as mentioned above, is even more challenging because you're going to constantly be in close contact with players, meaning that you're going to be exchanging AR shots often. So the best way, guys, that you can ensure not to run out of ammo is to make sure that you're getting all the ammo crates that you can get and just prioritizing looting ammo off spawn. Got to get as much as you can, guys. Seriously, like it's a very common bad habit in Fortnite really to just simply ignore the ammo crates early on in the game because you're so worried about other things like looting and rotating or, you know, just fighting nearby players. This is something that has to change in Chapter 2 Season 5. You have to make sure, guys, that you're making ammo crates a priority. Maybe you should write that down. <laughs> I don't know. You got to remember this, man. Make ammo crates a priority so that you stop running out of ammo at any point in the match. This is especially important due to the common competitive play style that really entails avoiding mid-game fights. Like, if you're avoiding mid-game fights altogether, there's a good chance that you're going to need tags on opponents at some point to not just be, you know, struck by storm surge. Not only will you need to use ammo for this, but you're not going to get a refresh from an ammo opposing player team if you're like not fighting until end game. This makes it even more important that you're making sure to collect all the ammo crates and just gather all the ammo early on in the game. Another common mistake is bad ammo maintenance in fights, meaning identifying not only when you need to reload, but also recognizing when a good time to reload is. 
For example, all right, let's break, let's break this down a little bit, all right? If I'm in a shotgun fight and I shoot two bullets out of my blue charge shotgun and I see the fight has, you know, kind of stalled, even though I still have one bullet remaining, this, this is still a good time for me to reload because there's no imminent threat now. On the contrary, all right, if I only have one bullet left and he's actively breaking into my box, I will probably, okay, elect not to reload at the very moment and just wait until I get a better opportunity. Forgetting to rearrange your inventory has been a problem in Fortnite ever since it has released the Battle Royale game mode. It's a reoccurring thing in both the competitive and casual community, and it's really something that almost every single player in the space needs to be considerate of. Nearly every attribute, guys, in the game of Fortnite really has to do with muscle memory. Like, this means that almost every single player has gotten into a routine with their build binds, you know, their sensitivity, their weapon inventory, right? And although this isn't a specific mistake that needs to be fixed in Chapter 2, Season 5, it's still extremely important to really talk about this. As the skill ceiling in Fortnite, it continues to grow. We, we gotta continue to touch on the little things that really can make a big difference in the fight. What if you were to really focus on all the little things? I know sometimes you're like, all right, I need to change all the big things like you, you start evaluating yourself you started evaluating how you're playing your game maybe you're watching vibe reviews maybe you're doing vibe reviews or pro guys like whatever it is we look at all the big things but what if you start really focusing on the little things because it, it is the little things right it's the little little tiny stuff that really make the big stuff it really is you know i mistake a small thing right like not having a shotgun in the right weapon slot can be the difference between being eliminated from the match or getting that victory out seriously like that's a small thing but it can make a big thing Another common mistake that is becoming more and more apparent ever since the physical mechanic ceiling in Fortnite has gotten so crazy high is players rushing to full kill down opponents. With players getting better and better in Fortnite guys, like when we down a player in team mode, we sometimes tend to rush and try to eliminate them because we're so focused on the next player or fight at hand. And this is an aspect of Fortnite that nearly every player needs to get better at, including myself, all right? I could be honest. So how do we fix this mistake? All right, we've done some thinking. Okay, well, when you down a player in a team mode, the first thing you, that you gotta do is just call it out to your teammate. Let your teammates know that you have a player or not so they can just adjust their playstyle accordingly. The next order of business is to get together with your teammate. Your goal here, and I mean like right here, is to put yourself in a situation where you have a clear number advantage. Next, get back to 150 health if possible. Like, you could do this in a variety of ways, but most players tend to pop the minis that they're carrying in their inventory, knowing that in competitive mode, you're gonna get 50 health for eliminating an opponent. It's definitely essential that you gain as much health as possible, guys, up to 150 before finishing your opponent. One really, really good way to fix this mistake quickly is really to practice with your duo or trio and just get a system in place when fighting, right? What are you doing immediately after one of you downs a player? Like who's carrying what heals? These types of questions are what you wanna be asking yourself to make sure you never feel rushed. Even something as simple as just knowing which one of your teammates has a med kit can really make a huge difference and really make the fights go significantly smoother. Please apply this stuff, guys. It's really gonna help you. Finally, make sure, my friends, bunch of crunch on me, that you have mastered whatever landing spot you choose. We say this all the time, but I can't say it. In, I, I say it all the time because it's so, so important. In Chapter 2, Season 5, there have been like a ton of adjustments to the map, right? This means that there are plenty of new POIs to learn, as well as how your rotations are going to be affected by the new map layout. And one major problem that really arises in tournaments is that a player or a team's landing spot gets significantly more contested in a tournament than they had originally anticipated. And most teams don't go in with the backup plan and it really causes them to be optionless when this really happens. This is a mistake that players have to fix. And before the next tournament, guys, you need to make sure that you master multiple landing spots. And most teams only practice at one singular spot this means like when the tournament comes around, if anything goes wrong, they're just left swinging, <laughs> you know, for the rest of the, of the tournament because they simply aren't just comfortable with any other spot. And, and when you're preparing for a tournament, you got to be able to make sure that you're familiar with, you know, at least probably like two to three different landing locations to ensure if there's any bump on the road during a tournament, you're going to have another POI or loop pad that, you know, you were confident and just familiar with. 
The best way to do this, guys, is really to dedicate one of your two to three POI landing spots to each scrim day. And if you're scrimming like four to five days a week each day, you know, switch off landing spots to ensure that you're getting extremely familiar with all three of them. All right, guys, let's do a quick recap. Here we go. First, be analytical of the current map loadout and understand that you're going to have to rotate earlier, all right? Second, make an effort to gather as much ammo as you can to ensure that you're not going to run out if you cease to pick up mid-game kills. The next thing, third, make sure that you're constantly making a mental note to make sure that all your weapons and consumables are in the correct inventory slots. Fourth, do not rush after you down a player. Communicate with your teammate, right? Like, get together, heal, coordinate a plan going forward. It's going to help a lot. Finally, make sure that you're mastering at least two to three different landing spots to avoid having to just wing it in a tournament if you're struggling at your drop spot. If you apply this thing, I'm telling you, you're going to start getting W's all the time, man. You can do it, guys. You already know I believe in you. Come on. Woo! So with all this in mind, guys, it is so essential that you take time to fix all of these mistakes, you know, before the next round of tournaments, especially. Guys, if you guys like the video, you already know what to do. Sub to the channel. We got so many more amazing things coming out. Once again, I'm your motivation guy, and I'm out.